something I talk to clients about in winter is rather than being on the defense and waiting for stuff to happen to you, um, is going on the offense. Okay. So like taking it to, so all the stuff that we've just spoke about there, how I, I always talk about it, use a rugby analogy, is if you're stood still and something comes and whacks you, you're mm. going to go backwards. Yeah. And that's life. Life is always like whacking you in it. Yeah. There's always something coming at you. But if you're moving forward and something whacks you, then the worst that you will do is stop. Yeah. You won't go backwards. Yeah. But you'll still be in front of where you were. Yeah. Um, or you'll keep moving forward. So there's a difference between playing to win and playing not to lose. Yeah. Being on the offense and being on the defense. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people go into defense mode yeah. in the winter and you will always end up going backwards. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that's a really important like mindset shift. Yeah. Is that I might have read it into this wrong, but for me, I'm thinking how could I apply that to beating the winter blues or um, one of those things could be keeping busy in your diet have things to look forward to like it could be going away to a, a european christmas market which we want to do in december or if for example because that could be quite expensive i suppose we still haven't looked at flights i don't want to have a look but um it could be just having these sort of tent pole occasions where you're like oh next week i'm going to the cinema with that friend the following week i'm doing this and i feel like if you've got these things to look forward to you do feel like you're moving forward and you're not giving yourself that time to stop and dwell on the fact that you are miserable in winter yeah it's that it's having things to look forward to it's having fun in there people mm -hmm. don't plan enough fun in because yeah. they see oh well there's christmas coming yeah and then they put all this big expectation on christmas and christmas ends up being a bit of a letdown and people fall out and yeah so having things in it's like being your being your own counselor and looking and putting things in for yourself, putting goals in for yourself mm -hmm. physically, work wise, what do you want to achieve? What projects do what do you want to get done? Mm -hmm. Is it like you know we we're decorating the house the yeah. house aren't we? Just getting yeah. that wrapped up. It, it's so it's being on the offense rather than just that. If you it's it's just getting away from that mentality of downing tools. Yeah, and this whole concept of hibernating in winter. I know even I joke about that, but it's like that's probably the worst thing you can do. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's not. It's, it's not giving you a momentum in moving forward. It's not giving you a purpose. 100%. And if you think about it like this, people hibernate, they move less. Mm. So if you move less and then you couple that with eating more, which yeah. certainly as we get into, you know, for our Canadian friends who've already, uh, it's uh, Canadian Thanksgiving in October, mm -hmm. got Thanksgiving in the States in November. Yeah. We've got bonfire night. I will be eating pie and peas yeah. on bonfire uh, night. Uh, bonfire night's like my favorite night of the year. Um, I mean, there's Halloween if you're, you're a child. Um, <laughs> there's Christmas, you know, yeah. New Year. So there's loads of stuff in and around there where you're going to be eating more, drinking more. But if you couple that with moving less as well, yeah. and you're not getting out, it, it, yes, there's obviously the physical side of it. But more than that, it's the mental side of mm. it, that you're not looking after yourself. You feel, you don't feel good. So yeah. I suppose actively, what can you do to improve that? So I, th yeah. I think first thing is... A, a routine mm -hmm. the routine in winter will not be the same as the routine in summer no because i like to get up at the crack of sparrows in summer yeah you know because it's nice it's light it's easy it's already mm -hmm. whereas it's a lot more difficult but you do need to get out and get some sunlight i think sunlight is so important yeah and it's so for, so depending where you live it's easier yeah um, well one thing i noticed this summer because i only in january moved in with keegan moved up north that this was my first summer living up north, but we have a really nice walk near us that we usually do a dog walk in the day, one of us or both of us, and then of an evening, do a longer walk. And it's been so nice to go for a walk at 7, 8 p.m. Mm. It's still sunny, it's a bit warm. And then I've suddenly been like, oh, that's over now because the sun's starting to set by seven o'clock yeah. and it's cold and I don't want to leave the house. Yeah. Um, and then I remembered whilst I wasn't living with you, but when I came to visit last winter, I bought a treadmill and it's in the garage and it's not as fun as going on a nice walk outside, but I will use that or I go for a little run. I've got like a little program where it's like, oh, a two minute jog and then a one minute walk and then a and then a 30 second sprint. And then and I remember that was our routine in like January and February. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's it's now about clicking into a new routine. They're not comparable and you might not enjoy it as much as your yeah. summer routine, but it is a routine nonetheless and going, okay, every day or every other day at 6 p.m., I'm in the garage on the treadmill doing this thing for 20 minutes and it just gives you a little bit more of purpose, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, everybody gets stuck in a routine or mm. they get stuck, they have a routine or an environment yeah. and we 
you have this thought process that that's it and and i have to fit into that mm. but that's that's not it you have you have agency yeah. and power to change your routine to change your environment mm -hmm. so like i move things around so that i work earlier when it's still dark and then i go for a walk as soon as it's light yeah um and i know that not everybody can do that i have my own business so i can move things yeah. around but it's been being proactive and thinking do the things that you like mm. that you really love doing that's easy for you to do do yeah. those in the dark yeah because you don't need because it's a lot more appealing to do um the things that you find a bit more difficult whether that's going to the gym whether that's going mm. for a walk and getting your steps in do those in the light yeah 